hello my little friends from Mother Russia and today we will look how to administrate the Linux Active Directory domain controller first of all we need to add our computer to the domain <coughs> for now it is in the workgroup before we will enter the domain, we will need to check the DNS server. This DNS server must point to the our Active Directory domain controller. For now, it is Samba 4 domain controller. Name of the domain is adminguide.lan Oh, mistake here. login and password of the domain administrator we configure while in it uh, provisioning samba4 active directory domain controller and before we continue i need to restart system because this is remote station we will continue after Reboot. Well, let's continue. Here we can see that we already in the main. Now let's install RSAT, Remote System Administration Tools. And we need this one. By the way, we can install RSAT with additional components. Here you can find these components but i think this is useless because uh, here is not all that we need and uh, it's easier to download the normal version And while it is installed, installing, uh, we will download Putti.
Putty will help us to check that uh, user in Active Directory was created. Let's connect to our domain controller. And try to authorize with administrator. Here you can see administrator admin guide LAN. Everything is okay. And now let's try to authorize with uh, not uh, with username that's not uh, present in our domain. So not found in Kerberos. And uh, in soon I will show you how to how it work in our system. And now let's go for a little pause. Well, installation is finished, and let's check what we have. Let's open administration tools folder. And here is active directory. DNS. Active directory. And group policies. Let's connect to our DNS server. This is Linux active directory server and Linux DNS server bint 9. And now we connect it to the bint with uh, Windows tool. Here we can see, we'll look here later. Let's create user. When we try to authorize with uh, test user 2, we see that user doesn't exist. Let's now create it. And let's check. Well, with uh, Windows tool, we connect it to the Linux Active Directory Domain Controller and create user. In this way, we can create uh, groups, manage them, and do everything that we almost all time doing in, in Windows. Now let's check group policy. First let's update group policy. And see that here is nothing we can find. Now let's create some random 
group policy. example let's take this and update our group policy again And we can see here our just newly created group policy object. So this is work well and this is will work on any workstation that we will join to the our domain controller. And now let's try to add the record to the DNS zone. For example, it will be called Test two. So no reaction. Let's add new record called test two, and it will point, for example, to our domain controller. And again, everything works well. So, as you can see, it works well, and we can use the Samba Active Directory domain controller to uh, save some money for licensing, for virtualization, because it doesn't have any restriction to use anywhere like the Windows Server have. So. Uh, in small environments with one or two hundreds or less uh, of workstations it will work well and it will save us a lot of money on hardware and on licensing well goodbye subscribe post comments ask questions I'll try to answer on every question on any channel where you find uh, any my channel where you find my videos goodbye